Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude, and welcome to week eight of the WBE. This is a crucial week. This could be the week the Milwaukee Sawsbucks clinch their first ever playoff berth in any league. I know, I'm not good at this. But now we're trying to change that. We're trying to rewrite the history of the Sawsbucks. You can't do that, but you can change the future by actions of the present. Listen, people have always told me, Steve, you suck at this. Why do you keep doing this? I will tell you, in the words of Lil Dicky, I would rather deal with failure than deal with what if. If I ever gave up, I would never be in this opportunity now to make the playoffs in the WBE. There's things that have to happen. We're going up against Elliot this week. Things need to happen. If I win this week, that's it. I, I worry about nothing else. Nobody else. A win this week locks it. If I lose, I would need a couple chips to fall a certain way. I would need Dan, aka A Drive, to lose or to win. If he wins, he could he can't win more than like 4-0. Uh, if Nexus wins 6-0 and I lose 6-0, Nexus makes it. I believe if John wins 4-0 and I lose 3-0, John makes it. So if I win, that's it. No questions. But if I lose, depending on how the other chips fall, depending on how Dan does, how John does, how Nexus does. My spot's up for grabs, but I can catapult my way all the way from the 8 seed up to almost the 4 seed, depending on how games work out. But if I lose, my 8 seed's up for grabs, and there's at least 3 people that are fighting for it. There's, there's, even, there's so much that can happen. But if I win, that's it. Curtains. Sheets. So I'm bringing Kaparaja, Mimikyu, Vaporeon, Magnetric, Aselgor, Sanakana. My opponent there has Raichu, Gastron, Hydreigon, Mawile, Ninetales, Haunter. I said about a week ago, I'm going to lead with Magnetric with a Flame Orb. I'm going to switch Aru as he switches into Gastrodon. I called that a week ago. That's how I'm going to play this. If I see Gastrodon, I'm leading Magnetric. And I'm gonna, and there it is, baby. Look at that. We are, we are a prophecy. So I'm thinking, okay, it doesn't matter what he leads with. I got I got Adrenaline Orb Mimikyu because of that Intimidate in Mawile. Um, I have, oh, Throat Spray, Selgor again. Same moveset as last week, but, you know, different EVs to kind of speed creep and all that stuff. Santa Conda's here doing Santa Conda things. I really thought, I was really kind of hoping he was going to bring uh, G-Max Kingler because G-Max Kingler does not get a lot of love, but the fact that I have um, Vaporeon is an easy switch into Kingler. I assume that's why he did not bring that. So, uh, Elliot, he's a great dude, great guy. Uh, check out his channel below. You will not be disappointed in the content that he provides. Uh, I believe he's recently gone to full-time as well, so congratulations on that. If that's not the case at all, and I'm confusing you with somebody else, do not take it very seriously. Do not get offended. This is currently 7.26 in the morning. I did not get a lot of sleep. It's in after daylight savings time. So it's technically 6.26 in the morning. You can tell by... I got the horrible lighting here. So, mana trick. Uh, I do not see Intimidate on Mawile, which is just disappointing because... Uh, how quickly? I just did Switcheroo like it was nothing. Uh, which means he's probably, you know, maybe Hyper Cutter for Intimidate, which is, you know, that's good, right? Hyper Cutter. Uh, so I Switcheroo, and I'm gonna go ahead and just give him right out, right out of the gate. Gonna give him that Flame Orb. So he is now Flame Orb. Uh, and now I'm kind of thinking, well, you know, do I want a flamethrower? Is he going to stay in? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking now what uh, what Gastrodon wants to do. And I decide, you know what, I think they poured in the save option. Um, I, I, he's burned. I, I, he had a Rindo Berry, so I don't know what he was trying to do. He's going to start cursing on me. Just going to start cursing on me. And the fact that I burned him now is fantastic news because now at most he will ever be his plus three attack because of the uh, burn. So... Um, I can't yawn him now, because obviously because he's burned. So I just go ahead and just fire off some ice beams. Just fire off some ice beams. Uh, so it is about at this point in the game that... because uh, it, it, It's kind of like a, the, um, the game 163 from, the, I think it was 2011 baseball season, where like all things had to happen. It was like the Rays versus the Yankees, and the Orioles versus the Red Sox, and depending how the games went down, certain team make the playoffs. So I just got word that uh, Dan, aka Dry, had lost his game. Uh, so, or no, he had won his game, but he was at four and four minus two. So that puts him um, out. There's no way I could lose this. If I lose six zero, I'm still four and four minus one. So Dan, done. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so, but now you know, I'm still trying. I'm still playing. Still trying to win this. So. Uh, I can't rely on anybody else because this, there's still a threat of John and Nexus in there. So, 
Uh, you know, I, I'm just trying to do damage to this, so I'm seeing curse. I, he keeps cursing. Uh, he does, he's not gonna have Resto Chesto, because if he had Chesto, I would have snagged that, but he had Rindo. So, uh, I'm checking his boost to see, okay, he's 4-4-4, four, 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 and, uh, I'm just, am I, I guess I'm just gonna keep firing Ice Beams, I wanna see what he, I don't, is he gonna be Recover, is he gonna be, you know, Mirror Co or something, you know, I don't know. But he's keep, he keeps going for curses. Uh, it's possible I already saw Recover at this point, but I've been just kinda talking out of my ass about the playoff stuff, and I've been making up scenarios in which games are happening as I'm playing. Uh, you know, if we're gonna be super transparent, I already knew the result of the results of all the game before this game happened. Art is a lie. Everything you see here is fabricated. There's nothing real about what you're seeing at all. All this reaction about how I could possibly make the playoffs, I already knew what I had to do. You guys are being lied to right now, and the thing is, you don't care. I don't care either. I will now recede back into the, uh, coach persona for effect. I fire off an energy ball. And a Selgor uh, just just took out just took out Gastrodon. All right, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. Going into this battle, I knew what I had to do. The only way that going into this game, because I knew that John lost and I knew what Dan's record was, I knew that all I had to do was not. If, if the only way I could not make the playoffs going into this battle when I played it, because I played it on late Friday night, was if Nexus won 6-0 and I also lost 6-0. If Nexus wins 6-0 and I lost 5-0, guess what? I'm still in the playoffs. What just happened there was a Seldor killed Gastrodon to make the score 6, Milwaukee Sox Bucks, 5, Chicago Cubs shoes. That means the worst score Milwaukee Sox Bucks could possibly lose this week is 5-0. It still puts me over the threshold of making the playoffs. Do you know what that means? That means that the Milwaukee Sox Bucks are in the fucking playoffs of the WBE! The Milwaukee Sauce Bucks are a playoff team! This ain't no random three-letter league that takes place on Showdown that somebody started that I happened to get involved in. This is the WBE. There's A-Drive. There's Wolf Glick. There's, there's uh, Joey. There's Envy. There's John. There's Duncan. There's Aaron Cybertron, and this guy made the playoffs. This guy qualified for the playoffs because an Aselgor took out a Gastrodon. There are no words. No words I could use to describe my excitement. There are no words used to describe my level of energy that I had when Aselgor killed that Gastron. I wish I recorded stuff live, because that would have been off the wall. I, di I don't. I played it this week. The battle's going up late because things happen. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know. I don't feel like getting into it. Not good things is what I'm saying, but yeah, they are all right now. But the Milwaukee Sauce Bucks qualified for the playoffs. The Milwaukee Sauce Bucks are going to the playoffs of the WBE. Now, it's about seeding. So I lose this game 5-0 straight up. I get the 8th seed and I probably play Joey. Uh, because I, because the, that's... I play Joey. However, if I win... So because I because I won, I'm automatically 5-3 now. Or, uh, sorry, let me phrase that. Because I beat Aaron, I would be 5-3 and, and I would be... Um, I would automatically jump him because differential, I, I crushed the differential. Then I would automatically jump Kyle because he's only 4-4. Four and four. So if I won, um, I would jump them to 6th. If I won by high enough, I could jump as high as 4th if MV or Duncan lose. So a win would put me in 6th. A, a loss of any kind would keep me in 8th. There's no scenario I finish 7th here. So uh, I, I have to decide uh, if, you know, I, not even a decision. Because my decision would be... How do I make the score of this game a certain score so I play a certain opponent? But the problem is, there's no way, like even, so when I played my game, there were still uh, two games left, and both, and those involved Duncan and Envy. So, uh, based on that, I could be playing Uzi, Duncan, uh, Envy, I could be playing any, one of those three in the first round of the playoffs, based on how this game, but, or if I lose um, this battle, I could be playing Joey. So there are four outcomes. I could be playing either Joey, Uzi, Duncan, or Envy. There's a lot that could happen. But, the subplot is, Kaparaja. Kaparaja 
uh, needs to be in the top five in kills. So he's got to get a couple kills this battle. Uh, he's got to be in the top five in kills. He's got, I think, ten this year. Uh, so he's got to be in the top five. I swear, he just U-turns right out on a burned Kaparaja. And now this Kaparaja is going to show you exactly, exactly why. Okay, so I've run, like, Akaberry on this thing a lot, right? I've run Shookaberry on this thing a good amount of times. I just go for a G-Max Steel Surge. It is neutral. And I'm going to get my Stealthy Rocks up, my Steely Pointy Stones. I get those up. I'm still burned, but... Oh, so the reason why I didn't G-Max right away was because I wanted to try to bait him into... Uh, using a move that could kill me on the turn that I G-Max, guaranteeing that I would live. But I, you know, I, so I kind of put it off for a little while, but eventually I was like, that was a turn, and he actually U-turned there, and so, whatever. So now he goes into Ninetales, and he's gonna get the Drought up and set up, but I'm Akabir. I've run Akabir like six times in this thing. And it's worked out a lot. So I kind of thinking about how, okay, do I want a Max Quake? Do I want, like, do I... Uh, he's in the sun. I mean, I have Akaberry. He is in the sun, so that's going to boost his Fire Blast. Am I going to live? I want to... Like, I have, you know, Vaporeon. Uh, but I, I, I am G-Max, and I, I killed one thing, and I realized, you know, we got we to gotta get some Copper Rock kills, because, yeah, that's why. We have to. He's been all year. He's been the honest of the team. Almost taken out. If I had actual Stealth Rocks up, he would have died, but I do not. I realize this battle has... The commentary hasn't really been that great. I've just been talking about now I'm in the fucking play are you are you goddamn kidding me if you look back at all the fucking leagues I, i've been in well like seven seasons of the gba like three of the w i've been in like 10 leagues. i i think it's the first time in 11 league seasons that i have made the playoffs and that is yeah because again i'm not good but this season i played good yes tracy morgan i know it's i played well superman does good you play i i know but I think I think for all of humanity and all of mankind, my play this year is a net positive to the human condition. I, I think the population of the of the humanity as a whole will benefit from seeing the Milwaukee Stars Bucks in the WBE playoffs. Are you fucking kidding me? The, I didn't expect that shit. But it was week after week of you know, if I could have one week back of prep, I would take back the week where I prep for Kelly. I think I dropped the ball on that one. My losses this year, one out of Dan, that could have been a toss-up. The one to Nexus, if I didn't fuck around with Fargus or miss like 11 Leech Seeds, I could have won that one. There's a chance that I could be going into this week 6-1. and Because Kelly, we just dropped the ball. But we are 4-3. and three. That's we, you know, we won two in a row. We beat Kyle. We beat Cybertron. Beating Cybertron. Beating Cybertron 6-0. Put me in this position of almost comfort of knowing if I win, I'm in, and that's it. And, and it made the differential a lot easier. So, you know, if I win that game 2-0, then I'm 4-3 and three plus 1, which makes it a which makes John's game way more important, which makes Nexus's game way more important. But the fact that I 6-0'd him really set me up for... Oh, let me get the throat spray. Really set me up for... Uh, really set me up for to have this game this week where all I had to do was just not lose by a lot. But a win, no matter what happens, gets me in. Also, that also was the case, too. Because if I only won, you know, 2-0, then a win would not would not automatically qualify me. Because I would have to then, you know, hope that other players just don't win more. Because, you know, if I win, if I was 3-3, uh, three and three, or if I was 4-3 and three plus 1, and I win, plus, oh, you know, 2-0, I'm only 5-3 and three plus 2, that allows, you know, if Dan win won big enough, he'd get in. That would mean if John won big enough, uh, he would get in. And, and they could still get in the playoffs even if I won. But I had set the chips up where it, all I had to do going into this week was win to guarantee it regardless of other outcomes. You know, other outcomes happened over the course of the week. But all they had to do was win. And that's it. And that's a lot of, this was, that's a lot of pressure for me. It's probably the last week's game was probably the biggest game that I played in my league history because it, it, it set me up to week eight, where all I had to do was avoid a complete disaster to make the playoffs, and the disaster was averted. There is now, there, there, there is now no way. You saw the Bucks missing the play. Like, like I said about eight minutes ago, everything is a lie. It's all an illusion. It's all a trick to get your entertainment and to get your attention. But the, what's not a trick is the Milwaukee motherfucking Sauce Bucks are in the motherfucking playoffs. We made top cup, baby. And we're going against either, again, either uh, if 
if we don't win here, all right, we can. I think we can all kind of. We all know what's happening at this point. Like, there's, there's. I'm still trying to preserve. I was trying to preserve a six zero, but there's. It. it I, I win this week, right? Like, I mean, come on. Let's. Let's. It. It, it would be very tough based on the walls I have left and the mons he has left for me to lose this. Uh, the only time, only way I was afraid of losing. So he U-turns, and he goes into Raichu. Uh, now, I choose to Earthquake. I'm a little ahead, I know. I choose to Earthquake his Raichu instead of go for, like, a, a body press, something like that. Because I was... Because if Raichu, like... If I... Or, or, or if I, like, switched or, you know... If I didn't go for Earthquake and I went for body press and he got up a nasty plot, like, that was an actual problem. Because he could have... He could have... If he got a nasty plot up, he was physical. But if he got a nasty plot up... Uh, this late in the game, it, it was a, it might have been a problem, so he did not, but, but, I ended up winning this game, this game, it, commentary isn't even about the battle, it's about the celebration, the pre-celebration for the playoffs, so I ended up winning this game, so my, op, my seating options are 6, 5, or 4, depending on the, how MV and Duncan do, because a win makes me 6 regardless, but a win by enough, and then a lose by enough, by uh, Duncan or Envy can put me in the fifth or fourth. Now fifth or fourth are irrelevant because fifth and fourth play each other. So if I'm sixth, I'm gonna playing Uzi in the playoffs, and I already beat him once this year. Granted, I got a crit that helped me out, but you know we can we learn from our mistakes. Dark Pulse, I knew I'd live that. I just go for body press. Santa kind of gonna go ahead and mm, get a kill here. So uh, you know I could have switched out uh, here, predicting a surf, but again if he got up a nasty plot, because I think it. it his only chance to win here was he gets up a nasty plot as I switch. And um, then even then it'd be tough to take out Manetric at this point because he probably had to use Surf on me. Uh, but, you know, so I, I, I'm thinking, I mean, we're also, I also have Mimikyu left with the Sky. So I figured, you know, worst case, he, let's say he wants to go for a nasty plot. Uh, I'll do so, I, I, and I don't kill it with a move. I'll do damage to it and I'll come in with um, with, Benet with uh, Mimikyu and take him out. But uh, he's banded, so that's, that's fun. I mean, yeah, that's, that, I do enjoy Bandit, Bandit Rising. But, guys, look. The Solidworks win 4-0. That means we end the season 5-3 and three plus 9. And that is going to really make this... Uh, so, I think, like, Duncan is 5-2. and two. So, going... I, I don't even think they played yet, to be honest with you. Going into this week, or go, going into Nats, I think Duncan is 5-2 and two plus 11, and MB 5-2 and two plus 10. So, a loss for one of them... By like a 2-0. Like a loss for MV 2-0 means I play Duncan. A loss for Duncan 3-0 and a win for MV means I play MV. So there's a lot of... We don't know we're playing yet, but don't worry. On Twitter, we'll announce it. We'll have our celebration. Guys, Milwaukee fucking Sawsbucks are in the fucking playoffs of the WBE. Are you... Thank you all. Thank you all for supporting this team so far. Regardless of what happens in the playoffs this year. We got there. We have to build on this. But the fact that we got there, and then we've 6 0 to play like Aaron Zhang. That, guys, next week, the season doesn't, doesn't end. The playoffs are beginning. The Milwaukee Sauce Bucks are in the playoffs. So let's make some fucking noise!